Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Why can't my dog be a service dog? While your sweet dog provides you with many beneficial components, they might not be suited to provide you with the service tasks you require day in and day out. The rigors of a working dog take their toll on dogs physically and mentally. There are specific breeds that have been developed to do this work. They have been selected for their soundness of temperament, mind and physicality to perform over and over again for you for years. One of the most asked questions when someone inquires about our lead dog service dog program at DogWorks Training Company is, can my dog get certified as a psychiatric service dog? Many people have the desire to have their dog with them at all times. And while this is a fabulous idea, it's just not conducive to how our communities are designed. When psychiatric service dogs were first defined by the Americans with Disabilities Act, they were given the broadest definition of all other types of service dogs, providing individuals that suffer from anxiety and depression at any level meant that they could now have their dog with them anywhere any time. This began to cause problems in restaurants and on airplanes. Eventually, the ADA updated the definition and created a new section called emotional support animal. These included other animals besides the typical service dog. However, the biggest issue with this is that the ADA has never put any requirements as to what or how the animal is trained. It is extremely broad. Basically, it says that the animal should not defecate in public spaces and should not bare teeth, growl, or lunge at other people. The ADA does not have a requirement for service animals to be professionally trained. Eventually, people caught on and began taking all sorts of animals with them when traveling, especially by plane, to avoid the costly fees of placing their pets in cargo spaces. Many people have not crate-trained their pets and could not bear the thought of them being placed in the cargo section of the plane. Again, this began causing problems especially for other people that needed their service dogs. People abusing the policies infringed on the rights of the truly disabled. The ADA, along with the Department of Transportation, recently revamped the definitions and banned ESAs on all flights. There is now a process by which any individual flying with a service dog must register that dog with the DOT. It is assigned a lifetime number, like a social security number, and then is allowed to fly with that individual. The registration does require that the individual provide a doctor's referral for the need and use of a service dog while flying, and it provides for the individual's professional training company to be added. While the ADA and the DOT still have not required any specific training guidelines for service dogs, they are moving in the right direction. If you are considering using your dog as your service dog, we highly suggest that you get that dog evaluated by a professional service dog trainer. Have it at minimum training at the canine good citizen levels with certificates showing as much and develop your dog's social skills. 
I'm Michelle Forto for DogWorks Training Company, DogWorks Radio, and at First Paw Media. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.